It's time for a diagramming activity. Let's plan out our strategy to solve this problem or algorithm. Diagramming is representing something in a graphic form. Diagramming provides you a visual representation to organize information before you begin to create your innovation or algorithm. This helps you build comprehension and facilitates discussion by representing your idea and information in visual form. Throughout this course, I will encourage you to use flowcharts to diagram. In this activity, make sure you put your name here, put the date here, and then you're going to print this out and put your assignment title here. And then you're going to use these symbols to draw out your diagram below. So once you print this out, you would use an oval for the starting of your program, a rectangle for a step in your program, a diamond if for a condition, if something was true or false, and a parallelogram for input or output. Here's an example of diagramming on finding the area of a shape. First, we start with an oval. We get the length, which is input and output, so we have a parallel again. We get the width, again, input and output. We do a step here. Area is equal to the width times the length, so we use a rectangle. We print the area. That is output, so we use a parallelogram. And then we have the end of our program, so we use an oval. Here we have waiting on a bus. We start with an oval. This is a step. We're checking the time, so we use a rectangle. We have a condition. We're waiting until 7.30. If it's not 7.30, we're going to read a book. So that is a step, a rectangle. We check the time again, which is another step. We come back to this condition. Is it 7.30? If it is not, we go down this loop again. If it is, we come over here to the right and we go to the bus and then we end our program. Here's one more example showing you a condition. For example, driving in the rain. We have our start, so we use a oval, start or end. Here's our condition, if it is raining. If it's raining and we're driving, we're going to turn on our wipers, and then we can end the program. But if it is not raining, we can turn our wipers off, and then we stop. So here was the condition with true or false, and here is our different steps. Once you complete this assignment, don't forget to save this document and then turn it into your teacher.